on YouTube, it's your boy Cameron, back at it again with a Call of Duty Cold Sweat gameplay. And guys, I'm camping with the M60 today, man, trying to get that DM Ultra, but I ended up going on a shred. The M60 is actually pretty nice. Uh, if you want to just pick people off, I uh, definitely recommend it. And sorry again for another late night upload, after hours upload, but I'm going back home to California tomorrow. I'm leaving my parents' house, so my upload should be around normal time, hopefully. Um... But I'm not going to bore you guys with all that real life talk, man. But we're going to be getting to the meat and potatoes of this video. We're talking about some Call of Duty drama. Not really drama, but Call of Duty conundrums right now. Alright, so you guys know Warzone, how big it is, and how all the streamers play it. My opinion is that a lot of those Fortnite streamers kind of ruined Call of Duty. But that's besides the point. That's a video for another time. If you guys want me to make a video on that, let me know in the comment section below. But... Guys, Warzone is unplayable. I tried to play Warzone today with my boys, and it was so boring, man. <laughs> I cannot play Warzone anymore. Warzone, to me, really got boring after maybe Season 4. Thing is about Warzone, man, it's just way too slow. You don't see anybody. Like, I would run around the whole time, and I just get melted by some hacker. <laughs> And I don't, I'm not a big fan of Warzone anymore, to be honest. I love the Halloween update. That was a lot of fun. The Zombie Royale was the dopest thing ever. And after that, I really haven't played it that much, to be honest. Um, Rebirth was cool, but the, the Mini Royale Rebirth is terrible. It is awful. But I do like the Resurgence. The Resurgence is fun. But the Mini Royale is terrible. I hate it, dude. It's so slow. It's so hectic. Even if you come back from the Gulag... You land and you get melted by some uh, hacker or some camping nerd on top of a roof. I don't know, man. The, the mini royale is awful. But the resurgence is fun because I don't really care because I can keep coming back. So I don't, really, I don't really give a shit. I can keep playing. But the other ones is terrible. I hate those two mini royale. And Verdansk is getting played out. Like it's been like almost a year and that map hasn't been touched. It looks the exact same. No cool gimmicks around the map. Like here's the thing. Say what you want about Fortnite, but at least they change the map. Change the map up at least. They keep it fresh. There's always something new to do around the map. And Verdansk, there's nothing new to do. It's boring. It's been the exact same thing for like a year. It, I don't know, man. That's my little Warzone mini rant out of the way. I'm just getting super bored of it. And the whole, you know, what is it called? You know, intertwining with, war, with a Cold War has been a mess. The guns are unbalanced, they don't work, the bullet drop is still terrible, that Pellington sniper rifle is the worst gun in the game, it is horrific, I don't know man, Warzone just has a bunch of issues, but the biggest issue, I think objectively, in Warzone is the terrible anti-cheat. The anti-cheat in Warzone is horrible, the anti-cheat in Call of Duty in general is abhorrent, it is un usable and there's so many hackers i touched upon this in my last video like dude the hackers in warzone they just walk right in bro because <laughs> it's a free account so you can just get banned who cares i'll make another one <laughs> so i don't know man it's awful it's hor horrible there's so many hackers in warzone like everywhere you go and there's bugs and glitches everywhere that get exploited like everywhere you go there's some cheese bro it's bad dude it's really really bad but What's funny is, guess what happened today? In a $250,000 Call of Duty Warzone tournament, the final cannot be, you know, continued because of hackers. <laughs> you know, $250K on the line, and I guess people were, you know, calling this one dude out in particular, I think, for hacking, and they couldn't continue on with the tournament because of the hackers. And this kind of just put, you know... A big spotlight on the horrible anti-cheat for Activision and how it's basically useless and how the anti-cheat is makes the game unplayable because you know you can't do anything against these hackers they never get banned they you know they populate those diamond and gold lobbies in those diamond and gold lobbies I'm willing to bet that there's three or four hackers in each of those lobbies. <laughs> At least three or four hackers in each of those lobbies. And add the Cronus nerds in there, oh my goodness. That gets even higher and higher. And here's the thing. It's, you know, most probably, most likely, your favorite streamer is cheating as well. That guy, Symphony, I don't care what you guys say. That guy is a freaking hacker, dude. That guy's a cheater. 
no way his aim just goes all over the place like it's in Cold War. Like, if it was in Cold War, I'm like, right, maybe he's probably not hacking, bro. That's just the game. <laughs> the game doesn't work. The aiming in this game is terrible. But Warzone has pretty good aiming mechanics as well as um, Modern Warfare. They have pretty good aiming mechanics. And his aim is going all over the place like a freaking windshield wiper. So I know Hundo P, that guy's cheating. Nothing you tell me otherwise. Oh, he's like baiting you, bro. Like, you're just an idiot. If you think he's just baiting you, you are like, you have brain damage. Like, honestly, you probably have brain damage somehow. I don't know. Maybe you got hit by a bus. Maybe, you know, you got Alzheimer's. I don't know what's going I don't know what's wrong with you, but your brain doesn't work. <laughs> if you don't, if you think that guy's not cheating, you have some serious brain issues, bro. You got all, you got brain cancer from drinking way too much G fuel and. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, bro. It's ridiculous. That guy's a hacker, and it's pretty obvious. And there's a lot of hackers in Warzone. So that begs the question, Activision, are you going to do anything to you know, circumvent these hackers, or are they going to keep running amok? Because they, they've been running amok for a year now. Warzone has been a hack fest for a year now. It is damn near unplayable. And don't come saying to me, Warzone fanboys, that it's a free-to-play game, bro. It's a free-to-play game. Fortnite's a free-to-play game, and I've never come across hackers in that shit. <laughs> I barely come across hackers in Fortnite. Um, Apex is a free-to-play game. I barely come across hackers in Apex. It's only Call of Duty. You know why? Because this anti-cheat doesn't work. It's terrible. And they don't want to invest money in it because they're cheap and they just, I don't know. They have this weird, weird freaking idea that this is an okay thing to be occurring. I don't know, guys. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. This is your boy Cameron. I'm out.